Hey guys, this is Maggie back with another how-to and today I'm going to be showing you um, how to hand crochet. So let's go ahead and get straight to the point. Um, what you're going to need today is string. Um, of course, as you can see, I have all this. And also what you're going to be needing is your hands. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on how to do hand knitting, but um, I like hand crocheting. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I just got my iPod and using that. So um, I'm going to show you the basic skills you'll need is... Um, uh, a slip knot, a chain stitch, and a half double crochet. If you don't know how to do this, um, I'm going to make a separate uh, video tutorial on how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, we're going to need to do a slip knot. And now I will explain the, these three things, how to do them vaguely. So what you're going to do is take your hand. I'm left-handed, so you just do everything I'm doing with my left hand and your right hand. <sighs> okay, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> um, I hope this uploads correctly. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. But what you're going to do is take your hand, my left hand, and in, if you're ambidextrous, you can use either one. But if you're right-handed, in your case, you use your right hand. Anyway, take your hand, like a gun, open your finger up. This is called your straggler because it ends in a straggle long. This is called your fairy's tail. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. Okay, what you're going to do is take your hand to open this up and put the straggler right in there, okay? And once you take this and put your two fingers behind and leave these two up. Take the straggler that's behind here, wrap it over, over again until it creates this X. Pull the one that you wrapped over first and then pull the one you just wrapped over. Through and you have a slip knot. Now you're just going to pull this open. Take your fairy's tail because it's goes on and on. That's what I call it that. So that was a slip knot. If you need to go back and rewind that just to see it, go ahead. Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, that was a slip knot, and that's the base for every chain you'll make. Let's make uh, a chain uh, a chain stitch on our hand. So what you're going to do is take your fairy's tail or long tail, wrap it over your hand so it kind of looks like this. Did so just wrap it over. Then you're going to take your original loop and pull it through. Go over again, pull through. Go over again, pull over. And see, this is the loop you'll be pulling over. Put this over, pull through. Pull a little more string out. Pull over. Okay, this may look like uh, crap right now, but it looks better. So I'm going to go ahead, and I've been crocheting for about a month now so I know what to do um okay <clears throat> that's all those things I'm going to do today uh I mean sorry today the stitches the chain stitches now a chain stitch is the base for every stitch you'll do it's a little confusing a um slip knot is the base for every chain stitch you, uh a base um a sorry oh my gosh a slip knot is the base for every chain you'll do and a chain is the base for every knot or other stitch you do okay so let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> Um, since I've taught you the slip knot and the um, chain stitch, I'm going to show you how to do the half double crochet stitch. What you're going to do is take your string, wrap it over just like we did in the um, chain stitch. Now what you're going to do is go, oh, sorry, okay, okay, okay. Here's one, here's one chain. You see how all these have like chains? See it? That's why I call it a chain stitch because it looks like chains. Okay, so say I'm going to pick this one. Never, okay, this is my first chain. Let me back up, sorry. This is my first chain. Never use that one because it'll screw up everything. Go to your second one. Don't go to the third one because it'll come back to you and bite you in the butt. And it won't look good because I'll have this like big thing. Okay, I have an infinity scarf I made out of this. And I'll try to get it. But um, let me see. Okay, so I will go ahead <coughs> and on here. And wrapped. Yeah. Okay. What I've done is I've taken my stitch that I had. I mean my... um. Thing up the stitch I had the um stitch I had on over my hand. I'm going to wrap it around like I did with the chain stitch, except I'm going to go actually in the stitch. Okay, so of course second stitch, and you're gonna go. There's three in there's three strings in one stitch. I'm just gonna go in one. Okay, so you're going into the stitch, wrapping over again. So I wrapped over again, pulled through, went over again. Okay, and. That is a chain stitch, so let me explain that one more time. Go over, take your stitches, go into the first one on the stitch. Let me show you how I did that. Okay, I know that's confusing. It took me a while to get it. <laughs> okay, here's one stitch, and in one stitch it has these three little stitches. Yours should look like this, with three, like, in one stitch, and then attach it to another one. You wrap your string around, go into that one hole, wrap it over again, pull through the first one, then go wrap it over again, 
and you should have three and pull them together all at the same time. Otherwise, it'll become a very holy thing. And you can see how, <coughs> oh yeah, here we go. It's starting to have like this little thing at the bottom, like right here. That's the base. When you get to the very end, what you're going to want to do is go through. Let me show you. Let's say I'm already at the end, so I'm just going to go over, go through, and then go over again. Then what I would do is I would wrap it over again, and here's my last stitch because it's attached. Go over again, and do it double so it doesn't come unraveled because that's the end. And if you pull that, everything is going to get messed up. And so um, let me go, you practice that, and I'm going to go right here and see if um, I can find that scarf I made. Um, so what it should look like. Um, my hamstring, I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> probably saw some clothes falling, that's okay. Good luck people, I have it, okay. This is what I made. I kept continuing this, and I turned it. Here's another thing. When you get to the end, what you're going to want to do is turn it. Now, yours won't look like this because I just, I did a um, slip stitch where you gather up everything. You learn that in my other tutorials. Okay. Um, what you want to do, say, it's, it's supposed to turn out like this, like, like a little thing hanging down. What you're going to want to do, so you're doing it this way, turn it. Okay? So, you just turn it and then do it. Um, I keep... I kept turning it, and this is what I got. It's an infinity scarf. I took two buttons at the end. I'm sorry I have so many YouTube channels. It wouldn't let me log in, so um, hopefully this will work. I think it will. I just took two buttons. I'll cut the strings off so it look prettier. And um, I sewed the two parts together, and it created an infinity scarf. And what you do with the infinity scarf? Take it. Take your... It's supposed to look like this because I mean, like, my mom's person is supposed to be a blanket, but it got, oh, it got too, um, it was kind of holy because it was the first time I ever done it. So, okay. Um, so what you're going to do is take it, twist it, and pull down. Okay. Actually, no, I didn't do that right. Sorry. What you want to do, to do is take it, twist it, and put it together. So that's what it's supposed to look like. I'll show you one more time before I put it on. Take it. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna twist it over and you're gonna pull this side directly up toward towards it, okay? And then you should get something like this. And then ignore that. That's just a little mishap I had. That was that three chain thing. Oh yes, that was that three chain thing. I used to, one told me to start on the third chain and this is what it ended up being. Like this big thing that lags in, so I'll have to do that. And you see, it, um this is my first one, so it doesn't look very good, but um this is my um I sewed the buttons on there. And I think it's pretty good for my first time actually. Actually I just said that, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my tutorial, and I'll be showing you how to, um, crochet with a regular needle. Actually, yeah. And, um, so yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.